Welcome to today's lesson. Today's learning target is I can use the easy common denominator method to subtract unlike fractions. Same method, now we're going to subtract. Let's take a look at one example. Here we have 3 fourths minus 2 sixths. All the steps will be the same except for the last, wherein we subtract instead of add. So let's start by moving our 4, the first denominator, over here and multiplying it by both the top and bottom numbers in our second fraction. So 2 times 4 will be 4. I'm sorry, not 4. It'll be 8, of course. It'll be 8. Let me get that subtracted there, erased. And 6 times 4 will be 24. And then we'll take our second denominator, the 6, and we'll bring it over here and multiply it by both the top and bottom numbers of our first fraction. So 6 times 3, that is 18. And 6 times 4, well, that's 24. Thank you, Reflex Math. So now we have two fractions that have two important features. The first important feature, they are equivalent to the fractions we began with. And the second important feature, they have the same denominator. And so now here comes the new step. We subtract. Ready? 18 minus 8 is 10. And just as we do with addition, we are going to leave our denominators the same. So we'll use 24 as our denominator. And 10 24 is our answer our difference. All right, that's how we do it. Let's get to it. I can use the easy common denominator method to subtract unlike fractions. If you need help, let me know. Let's get started. 